Okay, so here's where we're at. Where are we at? All right, the line, the cold water inlet line is run around the base board over to there, it goes back behind the tank, comes around and feeds into the system. That T is soldered, so this will come out here, continue around, got the tank set about where I want it. Um, so now what I'm trying to do today, this morning, is I would like to get this all built to tee off here, which is my domestic hot water in to fill the tank. Um, I would like to get this measured out and hope that it's going to clear through here and meet up with a T back there and then it will T out to another check valve for hot water going to the furnace for the whole house dehumidifier. So there'll be a union here and we'll get this all buttoned down and then last but not least down here um, Union, shut off, or uh, boiler drain. I believe I want to shut off on here, but I don't know if I'm going to have enough room for that because I'm going to need to 90 to a T back here, which is going to come up, and then the pump will tie into that. And my recirc, my recirculation line for the hot water will also tie into that. So that's the plan for this morning. See if I think this morning, right as of right now, I'm going to try to get this tank exactly where I want it, mark it on the floor, maybe cut that shim. I might wait till that. Get this all piped, get that all piped, and start working on this. That way, I'm I'm two unions on both of those, and. Uh, then I can just finish up down here and then move over to here. I have a T that's going to go in here. So that will have a shut off from the main water with a drain in it so that in the winter time I can shut the incoming water off here. And these are all my um, water lines to the spigots on the outsides of the house. So this is the driveway, this is the back balcony, this is for the sprinkler system, an irrigation system. So this is all built up to here. These aren't soldered yet, um, but that would be next. So yeah, I'll put a piece in here that goes down to that. Then in the winter, I can isolate it here, I can isolate it here, and I can open that up and drain all the water out of that outdoorsy type stuff um, here right on this line is where my new one inch line is going to go so it'll come over and connect there and it'll also go up and connect to the end on that mail block over there at the top so in this room I will have one continuous loop of water so it should be very pressure balanced between everything on that mail block it should be getting good pressure from both sides and the way I have this tank set up, which I'll talk about later, the hot water is also getting constant cold water pressure. So should have no more pressure issues, no more um, hot water when somebody flushes a toilet, that sort of thing. And yeah, so that's the plan. Okay. Tank is in its place although I will have to move it again uh, to get behind it but uh, connection up here is all installed this is all soldered and done chuck valves in air vents in uh, so that's the hot input um, the hot water out comes down turns gauge union goes back and tees in there and it can go two ways. Uh, number one is through this one-way check valve back here to the hot side of the 
mixing valve. The other way, if you can see back there, goes to a shutoff into a half inch PEX adapter, and that will run up and over to the furnace. And what that'll do is allow full 140 degree or 130, you know, between 125 and 140, whatever the tank's at, full hot water to the furnace uh, for the dehumidifier or the whole house humidifier, sorry. Uh, then there will be a return that comes back. So yeah, uh, this is not soldered yet. I'm going to do that next. And then that hot water part of it is done. We can start to build the return and the recirc down here. Once we get that done, we can finish up the copper water line that runs around and over and put the pump in as part of the return fire this thing up so I will give you guys a um, more in-depth explanation as to all of this craziness down here um, in a little bit when I get there uh, especially once it's hooked up it'll be a lot easier to explain once it's all hooked up but yeah okay see you later